Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a feisty couple in love. We love to get Fight Night Friday. Friday. And so for this Fight Night Friday, we got uh, Palutino's Guidance for Super Smash Brothers. Uh, this is all the DLC fighters. We did um, covered all the base uh, characters uh, before in Palutino's Guidance for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. If you want all of our Super Smash Brothers reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Uh, we also have a playlist for Fight Night Fridays. Um, so we do a bunch of different fighting games and. Uh, other sort of like uh, games that have like, you know, special uh, attacks and whatnot that we uh, check out um, for these Fight Night Friday events. Zelda Universe. Get a load of this Joker. That's right, Pit. This is Joker, the protagonist and the leader of the Phantom Thieves. The Phantom Thieves? Hmm. They're a group dedicated to stealing the hearts of crummy adults who are rotting with evil. A class <laughs> I can totally <laughs> get behind. <laughs> Agreed. Except the Phantom Thieves don't always steal Usually hearts. perverts, too. In order to bring peace to society, Joker and his team show mercy by sparing their targets, Good so long them. as they repent for their actions. On a lighter note, Joker here is just an everyday high school student. Now kick his ass! He's not busy as a phantom thief. He's working a part-time job, going on dates, and studying for his final exams. For real? How does this kid get any sleep? Sounds like he's got a lot of pancakes on his plate. In a sense, I can What? Relate. I've never oh. heard that phrase <laughs> before. Do I overwork you, Pit? <laughs> not at all, Lady Palutena. You better cut the lies, Pit, or Joker will be after your heart next. Yeah. No, not that. I need my heart. <laughs> Relax, Pit. The least Joker can cause is mild cartoon violence. Your heart should still be intact after the fight. Now then, be cautious of Joker's arsenal. One minute he'll be attacking with a dagger, the next he'll be drawing out a pistol. On top of that, he's got a signature persona arson ready to back him up. Use your orbitars to counter against the Phantom Thief. And if that doesn't work... Pray. Try grabbing Joker from the back if you really want to startle him. It'll be a total ambush. He'll never see it coming. A hero draws near. That's Eleven, the hero from Dragon Quest XI. He is said to be the reincarnation of a legendary warrior. Hmm. On his 16th birthday, he set off on a journey to fulfill his destiny. Here we go again. Another hero with a destiny. <laughs> It's not like that plot point's been done to death. Although the hero is more than just a handsome face with a sword and shield. That's Orusu, the hero from Dragon Quest III. He's the legendary hero who saved Olifgaard from the Archfiend Baramos and the Master Archfiend Zoma. Legendary hero? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Fancy Pants, but we already got enough legendary heroes in this roster. Besides, they all have way better taste in clothing. Ouch. That's Solo, the hero from Dragon Quest IV. He was raised by a foster family at a young age. Upon his 18th birthday, he set out on a quest to discover his true identity. So we yeah, have the typical hero with an identity crisis. You aren't impressed by anybody. <laughs> I'm sure I've come across this trope before. That's Eight, the hero from Dragon Quest VIII. He comes from Trodane Original. Castle. Original. <laughs> serving as the captain of its guard. Is that a hamster in his pocket? Oh. oh, it's so cute! Wait, his name is Eight? What, does he have siblings numbered one through seven? Numbers aside, the hero is more than just a handsome face with a sword and shield. He can also build up a magic gauge known as an MP Here's gauge. I know! Which allows him to cast a variety of spells. So he's a spellcaster like Robin! Oh man, I'd pay to see a wizard duel between them! Focus oh, bye. Pit. With his MP, the hero can cast several spells like Fritz, Kaswoosh, or even Kakrackle Slash. As Kaswoosh. silly as they sound, they give the hero an edge in battle. Who even made these spells? A five year old? Those spells sound amazing! <laughs> Watch out, or I'll unleash my Kakrackle Slash! Oh, he one good. Okay. Okay. Remember, Pit, once a spell is cast, the hero's MP will begin to shrink. Pay attention to his MP gauge, then attack directly to get the advantage. With all these swords, shields, magic users, and mythical creatures, it makes me wonder, when are we gonna get a Smash Brothers RPG game? Hmm. Is that... Little is teaser that there. Banjo and Kazooie? Huh? It's the legendary duo themselves! They're a rare sight to see! Welcome home, old friends. <laughs> what have they been doing all this time? 
after their wacky adventures and foiling Gruntilda's nasty schemes, Banjo and Kazooie haven't had that much time in the limelight. I vaguely remember seeing Banjo doing some cart racing or boat racing? Or was it piloting? All of the above. Last time I checked, they spent a lot of time building and creating their own vehicles. I never picked Banjo as an engineer or a pilot. He must be one crafty fighter. You're right on the jiggies, Pit. Now You're right on the jiggies? Banjo and Kazooie are known for their innovative and uh, wide variety. I love their phrases. I'm going to start using them. Kazooie herself <laughs> is no slouch either. Banjo will rely heavily on his Sounds like he's got a lot of pancakes on his plate. <laughs> or even swing her like a baseball bat. Isn't that kind of reckless? I mean, the only time for that is in the literal sense. <laughs> Once they strike, they'll unleash their greatest weapon that ultimately defeated Gruntilda, the Gentinator! Well, I only have one thing to say. Uh -huh. Did the Pokemon trainer get muscular all of a sudden? <laughs> no, Pit. This is Terry Bogart. King of Fighters. He's a mixed martial artist who competes in tournaments known as King of Fighters. I bet he can knock Pit to the ground with just one punch. Not unless he can dodge my karate moves. You're going to need more than a few baby chops, Pit. You're up against the Terry Bogard. He's mastered all kinds of fighting styles. He's skilled in the arts of Hakyo Kusaiken. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. I don't think I can say it Hakyo, once. Mm -hmm. It sounds cool. <laughs> wow, that's tricky. Terry's final smash packs quite a punch. He'll start with a triple geyser, followed by a power dunk, and finish off with a buster wolf. Pit, do me a favor and get hit by it. You'll never get to experience something like this again in your life. Plus, it'll be funny. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Ooh. Sweet. That was awesome. Isn't that the new professor everyone's talking about? That's Byleth, a professor who teaches at Garrig Mach Monastery. Before coming to the Pristine Officers Academy, Byleth used to work as a mercenary with the famous Captain Geralt. Can we please get somebody other than another sword fighter? If you look closely at Byleth's moveset, you wouldn't need to complain so much, Viridi. Byleth can wield an axe, a lance, and a bow. They're respectfully named Amir, Eridbar, and Failnot. Who hey, is man. this professor? It's as if I'm fighting a human Swiss army knife. If you haven't got a clue, Pit, this isn't your ordinary professor. Byleth is able to use the Sword of the Creator to its fullest potential, despite there being no crest stone attached to the sword itself. Maybe Byleth ate it? Don't be ridiculous, Pit. Imagine a Fire Emblem character having a convoluted... That's a series you gotta check out. Okay. Back Fire to the fight at hand. A lot of people ask, uh, that's for them in the comments. Speed. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. can't move very fast, so use this to your advantage when going in for a quick offensive attack. Hey, Lady Palutena, do you think after the fight I can enroll in the professor's class? Mm -hmm. Okay, Pit, but only if you can pay for your own tuition. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, student loans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that the new professor everyone's talking about? Huh? Another new professor? Who is calling to me? Whoa! Lady Palatina? Lady Palatina? Sorry, but I think Another you telepath? have a number. Is so, that who are you? you saw this? <laughs> Man, you sure slept for a lifetime. Veridi, didn't expect to see you here of all places. Tell me, do you suffer from well, the facial tantrums? expressions they give her? Mm -hmm. What I do with my reset bombs is not my reset bomb. vegetable. Look who's talking, Mrs. I am nature and will attempt to wipe humanity for the sake of nature itself. <laughs> That's okay. a long name. Yeah. Oh, get out of this pit. I'm in the middle of something. Oh, you wish you were in the middle of something. Oh. Tell me, Can't Rudy, do you still have issues getting rid of that crabgrass that grows under your... Okay, that is going oh. way too far. <laughs> Can I get some fighting tips? <laughs> sure, Pit. How about you clobber the salad bar with those overtars of yours? Smack her around real good so she'll sleep for 3,000 years. It seems Will Miss Gumdrop still has some anger <laughs> issues to work out. It's okay, Veridi. Some of us mature faster than others. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're one to talk. Can we all just get along? <laughs> 
Doesn't sound like it. Mm -mm. Get a load of this noodle head. She really takes eat it or wear it to a whole new level. Noodle head? That's the first thing you notice? Have you not seen her arms? <laughs> exactly. That's Min Min. She's a fighter who specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat, or in this case, arm-to-arm -arm combat, given that she can expand her arms. How is she Ow. able to do that? There's a lot of mystery behind the origin of these extendable arms. For some people, they just wake up one day and realize they have expandable limbs. That That's... seems like a stretch, <laughs> if you ask me. Gotta be terrifying when that wow. happens to you. Yeah. With long arms like that, how is she able to give hugs? She gives hugs from far away. Really, really big people. <laughs> Strange. I feel like I've said that somewhere before. It's gonna be tough to reach her if she can hit me from far away. She Maybe would I could give you longer arms to make it a fair fight, Pit. What? But then, how would I be able to give you a hug, Lady Palatina? That is your biggest That's worry. Very sweet, Pit. I mean, she's focus. very pretty. She At is. any point during the fight, Min Min can change sweet. her arms so she can adapt her fighting style. She's equipped with a dragon arm, a ram ram, and even a megawatt. What's her ram arsenal ram? really comes in handy. Of course, uh, she's not that much of a threat know. if you can stay in the air. Oh, but that's a bit of a problem for you, isn't it, Pit? Ooh, can he stay in the air for like five seconds? <laughs> she's got an advantage over heavyweights, but struggles with lightweights. You may have the upper hand, Pit. Really? How much does she weigh? Pit, you can't just ask about a lady's weight. <laughs> According to my data, her weight is listed as unimportant. <laughs> I guess that's also a mystery. Who's this guy? He's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> that's Steve, a regular old human. I thought he had a Minecraft look about him. Minecraft. Really? Because he's what? very square. Mm. Minecraft? Well, Minecraft is a world where you mine and you craft. craft. Steve and the like from his world are skilled craftsmen and survivalists. I guess we're not the only ones that you don't know about Minecraft. He doesn't know how many either. zombies, creepers, and skeletons he's had to triumph over. He'll do anything yeah, to survive, right? even if he has to eat food off the floor. He, he eats not food fun. off the floor. Hey guys, meet my new best friend! <laughs> you realize you still have to fight him, right, Pit? No, we can just eat even best friends fight fight together. sometimes. Well, get this. Steve carries a number of weapons, such as a sword, an axe, and a pickaxe. Okay. He can even attack while moving. But his weapons will eventually break. Blocks are kind of Steve's thing. He can make almost anything out of blocks. A house, a wall, even a pair of wings. Out of box? Steve can even fly? He's quite versatile, but his jump is pretty low. Mario's got him beat there. Yeah, Mario! Lastly, watch out for his final smash, the House of Doom. Nice name. Yeah! It's actually, the House of Boom. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. You'll end up trapped in a house plagued with TNT and creepers. You know what that means, Pit? Kaboom! <laughs> TNT! Makes you happy about that. Creepers? Oh man. Who's this girl? She's just standing there. Menacingly. That's Alex, a regular old human from a universe known as Minecraft. Really? What's a Minecraft? Where he asked this. Minecraft is a world where you mine and you craft. Alex An answer and the like of her world yep. are skilled craftsmen and survivalists. You can't even imagine how many zombies, creepers, and skeletons she's had to triumph over. She'll do anything to survive. Even if she has to eat food. Oh, later. Bye. She eats food off the floor? We're gonna be best friends. Hey guys, me my new best friend. You do realize you still have to fight her, right, Pit? Even best friends fight sometimes. Well, get this. Alex carries a number of weapons, such as a sword, an axe, and a pickaxe. She can even attack while moving, but her weapons will eventually break. Blocks are kind of Alex's thing. This, she has like a chainsaw at one point. Oh, that's a good second. Sorry, but... A wall, even a pair of wings. Alex can even fly? She's quite versatile, but her jump is pretty low. Mario's got her beat there. Lastly, I keep waiting for him to for her change the script the even yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And actually, the house of 
Let's yeah. change it. Let's change it a little bit. The weapons. Yeah, the weapons change. Yeah. That's about it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, come on. You could have spent a little bit of money to you know, change it up a little bit. There's got to be something more unique to her than right. Look out, everyone! It's a zombie. Careful, pet. It'll eat your brain. Really use it. Oh, so vicious. Don't worry, Pit. This zombie is no match for you at all. In fact, it's considered one of the weakest monsters in the Minecraft world. Oh, they have well, monsters in the world? Now I don't feel so Can't scared. Zombie using creepers yeah, and things. Zombies from the Minecraft Jeepers. world aren't much of a threat unless they're in groups. This zombie seems to carry the same fighting style as Steve or Alex. So your strategy shouldn't change either. Then I'll just send this zombie back from whence it came. Careful, Pit. An Enderman just invaded Skyworld. Oh? Uh, An Ender... What? what? The Enderman is quite a dangerous opponent. Engage them in combat, Endermen can be very aggressive monsters. Okay. Given their long and sleek body, Endermen Another are Minecraft very thing? quick. They hit so hard, they'll knock you right into next Tuesday. They're virtually unbeatable. What if it's oh Not oh it's already right. Tuesday knocking in next Tuesday like then zombie, that's an can and it's yeah. Yeah. if they fight alone. What do you guys if know about the age very What if yep. they just want a friend or a hug at least? But oh, if it's Monday at like eleven fifty nine p.m. they knock in the next Tuesday. Or for pit. It's your funeral. <laughs> Thank you for thinking this through. Wish you did. You're welcome. That's why. We live in a much nicer world if we could all just get along. Little debates and conversations like this. Is that an angel? Ooh, Sephiroth. Who is Ooh, that? Sweet. Sephiroth, former member of Soldier First Class, wielder of Masamune, and widely known as the One-Winged Angel. How can he fly around with just one wing? How come you can't fly in a circle? <laughs> Excuse me, Sephiroth, but it's not polite to drop in on a private conversation. Hmm. Oh. Give him some sass. To the goddess of light and her errand boy. Damn. Hey, I'm no errand boy. I'm not even allowed to get coffee for Lady Palutena <laughs> anymore. I always spill it. Oh. Lady Palutena, was it? I've heard many tales of a divine goddess with a lone angel and an army of deadbeat centurions. I must hmm. admit, your exceeding knowledge about me is most impressive. Yet it does annoy me just a hair. <laughs> hey! You can't talk to Lady Palutena like that, you pretty long <laughs> man. And I've heard of you, Sephiroth. Well known for spreading carnage and chaos in the world. You're not easy to forget. Mm. Are you still chasing your dream in hopes of defeating Cloud? All that I do is for the sake of my mother. Although, now that you mention it, Cloud and I are due for a reunion. Did he just identify himself um, as a mom's boy? <laughs> I'm still here. It's rude to exclude. Hey, look, it's Pyra. Yes, Pit, and fire is hot. <laughs> Pyra is an Aegis from Allrest, a legendary blade who specializes in fire. She basically is the sword. If she's the sword, cool. how can she fight on her own? We blades can still fight with our weapons. Nice. Oh, sorry. I couldn't help but listen in. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Oh, Pyra, welcome. It's been quite some time. That's right. And it's not just me. I'm also here, by the way. Whoa! Pyra just went blind! <laughs> no, Pit. That was Mithra. She's the true Aegis. Her power comes from light, just like Palutena. We just use our powers for different circumstances. Now, regarding Pyra, while her powers aren't as strong as Mithras, that doesn't mean you should take her lightly. Oh, well, uh, thanks, I guess? <laughs> Pyra's flames are so strong, she can cook just about anything. Better watch it, Pet, or you'll end up on her menu. Ah, please don't cook me golden brown! I would never do that. Mm -hmm. I don't have my cooking utensils. Should we give her a black eye? Like, why is she like having one eye closed? Remember, Pit, Pyra can switch to Mithra at any point. When they do, it's almost instant, so think fast on your feet. Once Pyra gets the Smash Ball, she's joined by her driver, Rex, and together they'll unleash Burning Sword. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't think it's fair to give away our tactics. <laughs> 
That's what this is perhaps. all about. I feel bad he can't fight on his own. Don't worry, Pit. He'll get his chance someday. Isn't that the Aegis? Aegis, Pit. Aegis. That's Mithra, a legendary blade from Allrest. While her counterpart Kyra is an Aegis, Mithra is the true Aegis. Mithra She's a true wields boss, bitch. amazing power. She's basically the best blade there is. Uh, I want to be just like her when I grow up. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's not easily impressed. Brady, how old are you? Pit, don't ever ask a goddess how old she is. That's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one's attitude. Oh, am I interrupting something? Oh, Mithra, nice of you to drop in. Oh, she's being so nice, nice too. Nice to made it to the fight. Two? She's talking to me. And me. Ah, oh, Mithra dyed her hair. No, Pit. That's Pyra. She and Mithra can swap places. Remember when Zelda and Sheik used to do that? Pyra focuses on power, while Mithra here is fast on her feet. Makes sense, since her element is light. So you and Mithra share the same power, Lady Palatina? We may share the same power, but I pretty much have the advantage. Ooh. You do know who you're speaking to, <laughs> right? Oh, what was that? Sorry. You'll have to speak up, ma'am. She mammed uh -oh. her. Damn. Excuse me, ma'am? Are you trying to pick a fight? Yeah. Yep. And I'm winning. Why don't we just settle this right now? Oh, I kind of like her. Too. I'm not going to lie. I can handle this one. I can? It says a lot when you're hiding behind an angel baby. I feel bad <laughs> for him, too. Kind of reminds me of my driver. <laughs> angel baby? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to continue this banter, but actually I don't. <laughs> As you know, Mithra can swap places with Pyra, which means her movesets change instantly. Mithra also has foresight, just like Shulk. Be careful when going like in for that. a melee attack. Oh, you can give fighting tips, but you won't take me on? Yeah, yeah. Can't be surprised. You haven't done any real damage. <laughs> She doesn't miss. Pit, do me a favor and put Mithra's core crystal where her mouth is. Oh! Is touch your chest. Oh my god. Oh, oh Pit. Who's this guy with the scary scores? Ooh. That is Kazuya Mishima. Oh. He's a martial artist who began training at a very young age. Yeah. Under the yep. wings of his father, Hihachi Mishima. Like, if being trained, Didn't you mean being thrown off a cliff? Throw him off a cliff? Training. He did yep. what? Yeah. Kazuya has some family issues. <laughs> Understatement His of the year. Yeah. Him off a cliff into an active volcano. Again. He did. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Pit. Kazuya lived, and then he threw his father into a volcano. <laughs> How does that make it better? <laughs> Why can't they just hug it out? <laughs> Wrong <laughs> kind of family. Yeah. Comprehending it, Pit. Kazuya has a very complex relationship with his father. Yeah, and he's like part demon too. Ironically, the, the devil. double genes are <laughs> probably the most normal thing about Kazuya. <laughs> you mean Kazuya is a devil? He carries the devil Hence gene. The wings, Pit. Keep a and sharp like the devil. Eye, Pit. Look. Kazuya will transform immediately with certain attacks such as Devil Fist, Lion Slayer, or even his final smash. The damage he can do in his double form is deadly. Make sure you don't lose, Pit, or Kazuya will throw you into a volcano. With my superior skills, that won't ever happen. <laughs> Watch out, Mr. Devil, for Skyworld will be your burial ground. Okay, Pit, <laughs> you're so cute. Sora! Go away, you don't hear me say please. That's all. They're all going into it. Yes. They're all fans. Tribute to Kingdom Hearts. Yes. Awesome. That is fantastic. It's like I'm looking through a very handsome mirror. 
It's Sora! The one and only Sora! No way! It's really Sora! Like they're, they're as hyped as like the community was hyped. Yeah. Uh, who's Sora? What? Oh, bit. Such a simple question can't be answered so easily. Sora is a Keyblade wielder from the Destiny Islands who's traveled to several magical worlds. Sora's been through a lot in his adventures. Mm -hmm. He's even had to conquer darkness itself. It all stems from the Keyblade he carries. Sora must have a really strong heart in order to use one. Wow. Sora must be a real somebody if he can do all that. He's definitely not a nobody. But I can't say the same Barak says. Oh, oh, yes, that's, I mean, that's true. He is a nobody. Sora's nobody. No, really, a real nobody. Yeah. Roxas came into existence because of Sora. He's kind of like Sora's other half. So, when you put it like that... Wait, does that make Patu my nobody? Hey, I'm not a nobody. I'm my own person, you know. Don't go roping me in with all this nonsense. Or else darkness within darkness awaits you, pit stain. Oh, ouch. Oh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Wait till you hear about everyone else that's intertwined with Sora. Mm-hmm. Sora is Sora, a boy from Destiny Islands. But he's also so much more than that. Sora is also Roxas, who is Sora's nobody. Well, well, what's happening? What? Sora himself to save his best friend Kyrie from the darkness. At that time, Kyrie's heart also bled inside of Sora's heart. Did I mention that Sora is the source of Shion's memories? Shion was made by Organization 13 in order to make her own vessel out of Sora so they could feel the power of the Keyblade. Not to mention Shion also possesses some of Kyrie's memories. Or, well, something like that. But that's a story for another day. During all of this, Sora is carrying Ventus's heart, who, might I add, is the spinning image of Roxas. And that's because mm. Ventus was inside Sora's heart during Roxas' creation. Yep. And there's Anitas, who Sora becomes the physical template for during the time Ventus was still inside Sora's heart, <laughs> and the name of the darkness of Sora. Which is exactly why Anitas looks a lot like a darker Sora. And okay, Viridi, I think that's enough. Besides, it'd probably take 358 days to cover everything about Sora. Yeah. Aw, well. How about they go in the convoluted? Like really cool Laura, well, I bet Kingdom we can Hearts. Make a yes. Good team. Yeah, yeah. Focus on the fight first, Pit. Make friends later. Sora is a rather light opponent. He can jump very high, allowing him to evade attacks. You might be able to keep up with him in the air. But that Sonic Blade maneuver can help him in a pinch. Watch where he goes and predict his movements. Watch out, Sora. This is going to be a simple and clean victory. Back off. Back off. Yeah. Hello, my fellow gamers. Thank you all for joining me. And me. Hmm. Don't forget me. <laughs> Thank you for joining all of us for our last and final Palatina's Guidance. Seriously, who knew the final fighter was going to be Sora? I'm excited hmm. for all the matches we're gonna have now. I wouldn't have it any other way. And of course, this wouldn't have been possible without the legend himself, Masahiro Sakurai. That goes double for me. The team behind this game really made Super Smash Bros. Ultimate a game to remember for the ages. I'm just thrilled I have the honor of getting to fight so many icons in video game history. <laughs> I guess all that's left to say is... Thank, thank you, you, Sakurai! Aw, And nice. with that, we have come to the end of Palutena's Guidance. Who knows, maybe we'll all see each other again. The future is a complete mystery, but one we'll all be looking forward to. See you later, everyone! Take care! And may your world be filled with light. Goodbye! That was fun. Um, absolutely love Sora's one. Uh, just like, like I said, they, they were like uh, basically us, the community, and like everyone just so hyped for Sora. And like the fact that they had two of them, one of them was just them singing the Kingdom Hearts theme song was great. What I love about the way that they do this and, and how they, how they re like reveal these characters and kind of bring them in is that through this vehicle of these characters, you can always find yourself in one of the characters. Mm -hmm. Like the characters you know really well, okay, you feel like Palatina, you're like, ah, I know this character, this is all this. And for the characters you have no clue about, you're like, I'm totally pit. Like I would ask that question, what is this character? What world are they from? What are their powers? Like, I don't get it. So I love how they roll out this, this way of revealing the characters because they made it so relatable, both for people who know these characters and love them and are super mm -hmm. well versed in the worlds and the games that they come from. And for those of us who know nothing, like. Everyone can find something in this and have a lot of fun. And I also like the one that was uh, 
where they switch the they can switch the different characters. Um, Pyra and, and Mi Mi Mithra. Mithra, yeah, Pyra and Mithra. Like Mithra the best because like Mithra was giving it back to Palatina, and like yeah. you just don't see that normally. Oh. And everyone's got like such reverence for uh, Palatina, and um, always gets along with her. And so for Mithra to be you know throwing it back and being like, hey, you know, you're <laughs> I was fun. mammed her. Mammed. Oh, she mammed her. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, so that one, Sora, and then I guess my third favorite one, Kazuya. I think that one was good, just because I could talk about the Mishima family. Yeah, what a what a messed up family. Yeah, and and just watching these characters grapple with with how messed up the family is was very entertaining. For sure. They said this was the last one, so I'm a yeah. little bit sad about that. Yeah, and uh, you know, I've been told that there aren't going to be any more Super Smash Brothers games, and like it would just mean be. It was tough. It was like uh, such an accomplishment to get all these different characters from different uh, franchises and uh, into this in, into this game. And Sora was a big uh, a big get uh, to get them from Disney. Um, so you know, if there's not any more, more Super Smash Brothers, uh, they ended you know on a great on a great high note. Um, but hopefully, maybe someday. Never say never. Like I said at the end of here, you know, you never know what the future holds. I'm a skeptic that this will be the last one. And the reason I say that is because there is a lot of talk about Nintendo releasing a brand new console coming up. Mm. Um, of course, we just bought the Switch. Yes. And and they talked about that. They, they talked about how like the Switch got a lot of new purchases because of Zelda and Breath of the Wild and like sort of a, a resurgence of Nintendo nostalgia that happened. Mm -hmm. And yes to all of that, but also they apparently are going to reveal a brand new console. I can't remember if it's at the end of 2023 or beginning of 2024, but that's what they're currently like gearing up for. And you know, whenever they release a new console, there's more. There's more this games, there's more characters, there's more stuff. So I'm not convinced this is the last one. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Palutena's Guidance, all for all the DLC fighters, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.